Hi, my name is Brian Ansley, and some of you know me from different Facebook scammer websites. And seven years ago, when I was still active duty Army, I was dumb enough not to have my settings set to private on Facebook. Because of that, a lot of my photos were stolen. It doesn't matter that any photo you take has an implied copyright and can be actionable. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. The pictures were stolen. I set my Facebook to private. Didn't matter. It was too late. I was a platoon sergeant. I tried to warn my young soldiers. And of course, what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm just old. So for the last seven years, I've been battling all these profiles popping up with my face. I've had people from Australia to the Netherlands to Sweden to Brazil all telling me that, hey, you're on Facebook, you're trying to be my friend, I just want to let you know. And it's like playing whack-a-mole. If I can get Facebook to take one or two down, three or four more pop up. Frankly, they just don't care. It is so hard for them to get any of these taken down and one of the worst offenders is their employee named Jeremy. I can report a profile and instead of investigating it and saying, hey, this picture looks like the other guy's picture that reported this. It doesn't matter, they don't care. They come up with their canned response. It doesn't violate their community standards. I've tried going to the Better Business Bureau. I've tried going to my state's attorney general's office. I tried California's state attorney general's office where they're located they don't care and bottom line is if you sign up for facebook and read the fine print if you have any kind of legal action you want to take against them you have to go to their jurisdiction who's going to fly to california hire an attorney fight a case if it goes to court to take down a couple profiles when by the time you get home three or more pop up so the bottom line is this. This is me, I'm the real Brian Ensley. Don't accept any friend requests from anyone else unless you know who I am. And if you're already a friend and you get another one, make sure that I'm still there as a friend and you'll know it's a duplicate. And I am so sick and tired of seeing this hoodie and most of these pictures, I'm ready to burn it. This is where I live. This is the Appalachians. It's March, so it's still cold and snowy. So no, I don't live in Kabul. I don't live in Syria. I don't live in Iraq. And as a former member of the military, I belong to a lot of these anti-scammer groups to educate people on some of the red flags to look for. And my jobs in the military afforded me the knowledge to be able to spot some of the red flags and alert people. And you can tell sometimes English isn't their first language and you can tell by the bio. The main thing is trust your gut. I'm sorry for all those that were scammed out there, even if it happened to be a profile using my photo. People out there will take advantage of others that have low self-esteem, that are lonely. Facebook is not the place to meet people for romance. Go somewhere where you can meet the person face to face even then there's risks but it's a lot better than trying to get someone from Kabul who states I'm stuck over here I need money most of it is bull if you have questions and you know where I'm at ask me I've been helping a lot of people the main thing is nobody out there is going to help us except ourselves so we have to educate others the more we educate people, the less power these people have. So, again, I'm sorry for those that were scammed in the past. My goal is to educate others. And I thank you for your time. And if you have questions, again, just ask. But mainly, trust your gut. Thank you.